Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a good look at this Lego Ideas set A-frame. So it's Lego Ideas set number 46. It's the A-frame cabin. As normal, we'll open up the box, have a look at the bag numbers, sticker sheets, and a good look at the instruction manual as well. And of course, we'll start with the box artwork. So as I've just said, it is the A-frame cabin, Lego Ideas set number 46, and it is absolutely beautiful. You can see how it all clips together at the bottom. You've got the Thor hammers and everything on the side, and you've got all the different pinholes, so you can do little different bits and pieces to it. On the bottom right-hand side, it says it's 18 plus, set number 21338, and it's got 2,082 pieces. And then on the bottom left-hand side, it just as normal says the Lego Ideas set. And you've got some nice artwork on the side of this as well, which is always nice. And on the other side, you have got a little bit of writing and then that will take us into the different types of minifigures that are available and then you've got all the different elements and things like that with regards to the birds you've got the frogs you've got the nice chap with the map the squirrel and everything else in between spinning it around on the back this does have a huge amount of detail i was amazed actually when i saw this in the shop for the first time just actually how pretty this thing is so i am very much looking forward to getting this built i have seen a lot of people already get theirs built and get them in display so i am very much looking forward to this but you can see you can take both sides off if you need to and the top does come off so it is a modular type unit and then you've got all of the bits and pieces and all the different display pieces across the bottom and again which is always a nice thing to see it does give you the full dimension when it's clipped together so it's 17.5 inches wide or 44 centimeters and it's 28 centimeters or 11 inches tall now i'm hoping this will go in with my new lord of the rings rivendale set and we can make a really nice fancy display with it okay as normal it's going to go one or two ways you're going to be a complete disaster or it'll be fine but i did learn my lesson from last time if i plonk you down here it does then mean i can tip it without you falling off the actual lego head how many bags does this thing have quite a few so uh the good bite size chunk so is number 11 just number 11 and that is all you've got or do you have two number 11 so we'll figure that out very very shortly so number one is nice and simple let's have a look and actually see if the bags are paired up so that's 12 and that's your base plates and your big canoe as well that's a big a big size thing so how many studs is that two four six eight studs long plus an extra little bit as well so that's a that's a large piece that one so that's a nice a nice looking thing and then you've got bag 10 15 to 11 so there might be some might be double some might be single so you've got a three a teeny tiny two, but it does have a smaller bag on the inside. There's your ten, nine, four. So and we only got the one double by the looks of it. Good potential. We've only got the one double. There's a seven, six. Yeah. So it looks like we do only have the one double. Five. So I'm not too sure why they didn't. I guess they just couldn't fit it on the inside. With some of them, they do have them in a separate bag. You can see, and then. There's method to the madness, it's just obviously for you to keep it easier when you get into the instruction manual because you're supposed to put that in one pile, that in another pile. And it just makes the build that much a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable for everybody as well. So if I plonk you back up at the top, let's have a look at the instruction manual. I really do like the Lego Idea booklets and hopefully we can spend a little bit of time on here because we have got the Meet the Creator on here all going well. And then we will have all the other little bits and pieces with regards to the inspiration and how all the other bits and pieces work. Now obviously recently they've started to add in these kind of things as well, which you can then re cycle rather than being in the plastic packaging so it'll be interesting to see how long it's going to take until these then become like this and obviously if the cmf minifigures are going to come as cardboard rather than the feelable plastic right wow okay so we have got a really nice bit of artwork on the front of this and there are two booklets as well and on the back the booklets are completely different so you've got that one there and then you spin it around and then you've got that one there so we will start with booklet number one which is the daytime so what have we got on the inside of this we have got all about the lego vip so you can do it on your phone you can save money and then you can get obviously your gifts by either going to legoland you get percentage off or sets merchandise and so on and so forth so there's plenty of bits and pieces that you can do within this now this is what i was hoping to see they've got all these really nice bits and pieces for the write-up so it goes on with regards to how and why it was done where they get their ideas from just for the different types of cabin as you can see so 
says over on this side experimenting with limited square footage and create building kits with assembly instructions to help new builds modify their cozy new homes in the needs and style of the environment uh, international travel became more readily accessible in the late 1970s you can see just how detailed this kind of thing is and then we move on and then we've got the meet the fan designer which don't forget this was a lego ideas set but you can always sit down and obviously have a have a good read of all of this if you have one it's always quite nice to look at and see that was the original design so it has obviously changed ever so slightly with regards to the amount of trees and the style of trees and everything and they've got obviously slightly different a different front door that's obviously the tree that is very very similar in the new uh, lord of the Rings set as well but that one just looks slightly bigger but they've used different elements but it is kind of done the same the same way up on that bit so it's always always nice to see now you've got meet the lego designers so these guys and girls which we're about to have a look at now we have got four different people that worked on the design team so it is these four over here and then they were obviously looking like they're having a nice time but they've got the big thor hammer oversized guitar big cups camera and magnifying glass so there's obviously all these little easter eggs potentially within these sets and that is the four names at the bottom so they've got a little bit of a a little bit of a write-up for themselves which is always good to see and then we are getting close to the build and the bags that is always there for the bigger sets you've got the first four bags look like you're doing the the base and then five to seven it is the bottom the bottom tier a bag number one gives you two mini figures and then we just crack on with the build how many pages are in this booklet we have got a hundred and forty two until it's finished step one hundred and eighty and then you go into booklet number two which is always a nice thing to a nice thing to see but on the back they also have the other lego ideas set so this is what i do like with when Lego do it, it is nice if you end up picking this in the second hand market in a few years time. It's always nice to see what other Lego ideas sets or other bits and pieces are out at the time. So the lighthouse I think is absolutely stunning. That's okay, but I've got no association with that whatsoever. And that just, I think everybody agree, was just a little bit too expensive when it came out, but obviously it was out at the same time as the World Cup, but it does has done in the past go into absolutely enormous sales so if you pick any of these up then obviously please do let me know this is still very very tempting for me i might have a plan for that but we will wait until the lives for that one and then that is that booklet next booklet was number two so it's got the bits on the night what is the difference on this so bag eight and nine you've got the little cozy bit up at the top so it looks like there's just like a look at bedroom and then bag 10 to 15 that is your main aim frame cabin so this bag sorry this bag eight for booklet number two is where it starts and again too many figures at the start and then you come straight through on to the last couple of pages where does it actually finish so it might finish step 333 might be where it's done yes so it's 333 steps 101 pages until completion you can just see how very very nice that looks like it looks like you build these pieces obviously in completely separate stages and then as we come through you've got that on the inside so you can just clip in you've also got the pins for it to clip in if you want it to and then as we come through that just gives you all the leaf design and that is it so you have got that bit just there that is it all completely done with it obviously clipped together and then you have got the option of it just being pulled away completely but looking at this now which i didn't realize until looking at the back of this book you obviously got the two separate bits if you want them to be the two separate bits you can pull them out completely separately where you've obviously got the logs and that one tree and this two but you can then if you wanted to just clip them together so you've got three complete trees and then maybe you might just be able to clip that into the side so you can just have it on the one side so in the comments let us know how you've displayed yours or what you've done with yours have you just kept it all together have you split it up so you've got them on the either side have you just put this somewhere completely different and then that in a different type of display i think it's a very very good 
looking set but that is it i am done so it's good to see all the booklet and everything in the comments like i said let me know where you've placed your bits and pieces what i will do as always is link when this is built to the end of this video and vice versa so they're easier to see obviously where i can i will do the unboxing and building in one video but for some of the larger sets like this it just takes so long to get them built it's just a little bit easier doing them in stages rather than just the whole the whole process but i do what i can where i can but guys that is it so if you can like and subscribe and all the good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic Fantastic. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll have to get to the next one. Ta-da.